What's up guys, welcome to the third CCI tutorial video or Commodity Channel Index tutorial video within our Python Mathematics and Finance, fan, wow I can't say it, Finance Indicators uh, tutorial series. Where we left off we were actually calculating CCI within Python and now let's actually uh, plot it into Matplotlib. So I've got an empty script here, our uh, calculation here, if you don't have uh, the sample code Links in the description, visit it, you'll find yourself on this beautiful page like this. Ooh, Victoria's Secret. Anyway, uh, scroll down, and what we'll do is copy and paste this code. That's what I get for buying my uh, fiance Victoria's Secret stuff. Anyway, uh, plot tutorial, I'm just going to paste it in there. So this is the sample code, and then I've left two empty spots basically for us to copy and paste the code into. So what we're going to do is all the way, I'm just going to clear out some of that space there, uh, copy and paste this entire CCI function and the calling of it. Obviously we don't have to take the moving average part because we already did that, and the top part we don't need that either. So we'll come down here, paste, now we got to do a couple indents here to fix this nasty script here now two indents now you're all set now we come down and let me fit this to screen uh, right about here also uh, let me go ahead and configure idle and make this text a bit bigger apply. all right so now where we've defined CCI let's pass or have it you know fill out some variables for us so CCI X and CCI Y equals that function. Now we want to plot up those things. So the quickest way that we could do this would be ax2.plot, uh, ccix, ccy, and we want to plot it as a white line. Done. Save plot. Uh, whatever plot you or stock you want. Whatever plot you want to stock, um, plot that up. And here is our uh, CCI for Exxon Mobil. And so as you can see, it's just a simple line here, going up and down, um, nothing too fancy to see here. So uh, one of the things that I did in uh, some of the examples I showed you is one, you can either add a zero line, and then you can also add the 100 line and the negative 100 line. So I'm going to go ahead and, and show how to do that now. So just to add that zero line, it's pretty simple. It's just going to be ax2.axh line for horizontal line. And then you put in the parameters, where's the line? What color is that line? Simple enough. So now let's do another stock. Um, let's do eBay. Plot up eBay. And so now you can see that we actually have the zero line there. Um, so now the next thing is maybe a 100 and a negative 100. So kind of like how we did the RSI, right, with 70 and 30 and made it a green line. I'm not going to do the fills. If you want to know more about the fills, check out the RSI uh, tutorial video uh, in that other series for charting stocks in Python. So we'll at least do the, uh, the horizontal lines because it's a couple easy changes. So we'll just copy and paste this, paste, paste, and we can make this the green. This is the red. The green is at negative 100. The red would be at 100 for uh, this would be oversold uh, and this would be overbought. And just for kicks, we should add our label. So we'll say plot y label. And what is the y label? It's a CCI. And what was our time frame? It was a 14. Thanks for answering. And the color that we want it to be will be a white. So we'll run it again. Uh, we'll just use eBay again. And here is eBay. And we have our sexy lines. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And sometimes it's good to have a uh, the grid show. Since I haven't actually shown you guys how you can actually do the grid, uh, I don't think we've done it on like, any of the uh, tutorial videos in this section. In the charting stocks, I did cover it, but you can do the grid by doing ax2.grid. Say true. Whoops. True. Oh my goodness, this is a mess. True. Color. Again, white. Save that. Run it. We'll use eBay again. And um, here it is with the grid. So it's a little easier to compare uh, it to the. Uh, to the price now, right? So you can compare the changes basically. So, anyways, uh, that's going to conclude the CCI tutorial video mini series in our Python 
mathematics and finance indicators tutorial big massive series so anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you learned something new as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support the subscriptions and until next time